Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in The Sims 4, we are in the brand new world of Tomarang, which came with the new expansion pack, Sims 4 for Rent. And as you guys have already seen today, we're gonna be attempting, I'm gonna try to build some beachfront condos. I don't know if that's the technical term because this isn't like Sulani. They're not actually waterfront lots. You can't get to the water, but that's the inspiration anyway. And I think we're going to be going to this lot right here. It's 40 by 30. It's empty. I'm thinking that I want to build the condos kind of in an L shape, almost like a retro beach motel. That's what I'm going for. So I kind of want to do an L shape on the edge of the lot. And then this big spot right here. I want it to be a community area with a maybe a pool and some outdoor activities. I don't know how much indoor community space we're going to have because it, it is going to kind of look more like a motel. There's not a whole lot of opportunities for, you know, shared spaces. But I think what I'm going to do is to keep myself from getting overwhelmed and freaking out. I think I'm going to start out with just a box and I want to build one unit and that way I can just copy and paste it all along the side of the lot and hopefully that will work out that's my plan so I'm going to start out with this box let me put some lighting in it I was thinking that we need a kitchen a bathroom and bedrooms of course you don't have to have a living room but obviously I think it would be nice so I'm thinking this could be the bathroom I know it's a small bathroom but it's functional it's doable right and we might could add another one with the bedroom or something like that but I think we should start out right there for the bathroom. And then I'm thinking that the entranceway would be right here beside the bathroom. And maybe it would be like a very small hallway, I guess. It's not really a hallway. It's very short. But I need to pick out a door. So I'm going to grab out the doors that came with the new pack. And it looks like we have three of them. We have that one, this one, and this one. I actually really like this middle one. But I don't know if any of these totally match the vibe I'm going for with this particular build. So I think that we might could use this door inside the house. But for the outside of the condo or the unit, I want to use this tiny living door because I do want to go for a little bit more of a retro look. And that's probably the most retro door that I have in the game. So we're going to start there. We may change it, but that's what I'm going to start out with. And going into the bathroom, I feel like the door is probably going to have to go over here. Then for flooring, we have some really nice floor tiles now. Those are really pretty. We have this one, this one. Oh, those are super nice. So I think this looks really nice in the bathroom. I like it anyway. So now we need to pick out wallpaper. And it looks like we got five options. These may not exactly fit the vibe I'm going for either, but I do like this one. It's stucco in basics and pastels. Yes, that's perfect. So should we do blue or, oh my gosh, yes, let's do blue. Does that match this color though? What color is that? That's blue. We could do orange. Let's do orange, you guys. Let's just make it fun. Okay, so we're doing good. We got flooring and wallpaper. Let's move on to the bathroom stuff now. So I need to do a bathtub shower combination because with these units, we may have families living there or something. We may need a bathtub. So it looks like we only got a standalone shower with the pack and... Oh, we got a natural springs hot tub. That is cool. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be using it in this build, but I like it. I love this shower. That's so pretty. But unfortunately, we're going to have to grab a different one because like I said, I do need a bathtub. So I think I'm going to go with growing together. I like the new toilets that we got, but I think I'm going to go with a just a regular kind of toilet. Maybe the one from cats and dogs. I need a coastal toilet. We could do this one that came with Island Living. I think it's a base game toilet and then they added some like different swatches for Island Living anyway. I, I'm not really sure, but there's our little toilet. Oh man, now I don't know if you can actually access the shower like that. I'll have to play test it and see. But we did get a new sink. This is very pretty. I like that. So cute. We could do this blue. That's nice. Now the shower kind of looks out of place, but I think it's fine. I'm going to scoot the toilet as close to the sink as I can so that hopefully the shower will be functional and I won't have to move everything around. I don't know how much decoration all these units are going to get, honestly. This sink actually has like a built-in soap dispenser. I don't even have to put a soap dispenser down. That's nice. We'll do some toothbrushes. So the bathroom is done. Hopefully the shower's functional. If not, I'll 
move it around and make it functional. Then I feel like we could put a really small little living area here, maybe, and then do the kitchen. I want to keep the unit short because I don't want really, really long rooms. So let's try to do a little bit of a living room right here. Maybe we could use this wallpaper. We got a new coffee table. I'm going to grab that and just grab a regular TV. No, that's actually a lot of money. Okay, I've got to remember, I have to remember to keep the budget down because we're gonna be copying this room and, and multiplying it, so it can't get too expensive. I've got to keep the budget low. There we go, there's our little living room. Let's do the kitchen. It looks like we got some new counters, which is nice. What tile are we gonna use for the kitchen? This is kind of nice, we could do this one. Oh, am I supposed to turn them around? Okay, there we go. That's a little bit more work than I kind of like, but that's fine. Let's grab the kitchen counters. Oh, these are nice. I like the top of them. Oh, we got a new mini fridge. We didn't get an actual fridge, but we got a mini fridge. That's cute. I need a real one though. All right, I think we can do this. I think we can bring the unit in to right behind here. Oh, we still have to add the bedrooms. <laughs> I forgot about that. I also need a window somewhere. We need a window. I think I'll move the refrigerator right there. Let me look at the windows. I think I am going to go with these base game windows because they fit more of the exterior style that I want. So I don't think I'm going to use one of the new windows for this one. Let's look at curtains. Okay, so we have these curtains, which are kind of cinched up, but they're still pretty big in the kitchen. So I'm going to size them down. I was going to try to place this curtain rod thing, but I think I'm going to have to have the tool mod to get it to place correctly because it's snapping to the window, but it won't snap all the way across and it's not making me happy. And I think we did get some overhead cabinets. Oh, they're very nice. I like them. They're big. They kind of feel bulky a little bit but I like them just along this ball. That looks nice. Let's grab an oven hood. I think that's everything we have to have in the kitchen. We could probably use a dining table. I feel like most people would appreciate a dining table since we can't use these counters. We have this little one. I feel like that's probably what we're gonna have to go with to fit it into the space. Wow, it is a tight squeeze, but I think that will work. Okay, I think that's the kitchen. It's not got a lot of personality. It doesn't have a lot of clutter, but we don't know who's gonna be renting these apartments. I'm not adding anything else to it. So I guess we need to finish up the hallway area. I think what I'm gonna have to do is add a box that is the same size as this one for the bedrooms and I'm gonna connect it somewhere over here. Like we'll add a door to somehow connect to that. I think the unit is done, this part of the unit. We have the bathroom done, we have our little hallway. I put a little bit of clutter here with a mirror just to finish off the hallway. And then we have the kitchen and living room. I think it looks pretty good. Let's see, it ended up being five tiles wide. So I need to add that big of a space for the bedrooms because I do want them to all look like they're the same size on the outside. Let's look at the bed we got. Hopefully we got a new bed. And we did. It's a canopy bed. Oh, I like that. That's nice. There's our little bedside table. All right, I think I am gonna keep these extremely kind of minimally decorated for multiple reasons. Number one, I get very overwhelmed when I'm decorating and that tends to make me not want to build. Number two, it makes it to where you guys can customize these units. If you download this off the gallery, you can make it into what you want it to be. And then also another reason is because of cost. I mean, it's going to be pretty expensive to own these properties if they're all decked out really nicely. So I think that bedroom is done. I mean, all you really need in a bedroom is a bed and a wardrobe, right? So we got that. Check. That's done. Let's add another of the same bed in here. Do we even have enough room for a wardrobe in this build? I feel like, yeah, we do. Maybe we could do one of the shorter ones. We could do this one just to change it up a little bit. Can we do it right there? No. Yes? No. It's gonna kind of look like a hotel, honestly, but it's a rental lot. It's supposed to be plain until your renters move in, right? It's not supposed to have a lot of personality right off the bat. That's what I'm gonna tell myself anyway. All right, I think I've got the first unit done. So I think that what I'm gonna do is 
You know, guys, I really could have thought this out a little bit better, honestly. It's not going to be super easy just to copy and paste this stuff. So I'm kind of regretting it now a little bit. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go on and kind of try to make the corner because I didn't think that through well. And so now I got to make a little corner unit. I'm going to do that and then we're going to move the lot and then I'm going to start copying and pasting. Oh my gosh, I have no idea how to put this together now. It's like a puzzle, but it's not fun. It's not a fun puzzle. I do not recommend building like this. I should have just built it the right way. I missed the tool mod, you guys. The update's probably out. I just didn't look before I started building. I was excited to start building. Now I regret it. I think we're getting there, though. Okay, I think I have successfully inverted this unit. I really wish I had thought about that before I finished building it, but it took a minute. It's not that bad. We got it done now. Now I gotta do this bedroom side, but I think that'll be a slightly easier. Then this area right here, this corner unit, I think that I'm going to let my family, cause I'm building this for me. You guys do whatever you want with it. It can just be a large unit if you want to. I think that my family is gonna live here. I gotta figure out a way to get a door in there though. I guess I could actually delete the television in here and I could add it into one of the bedrooms. Now there's a couch there for no reason though. Guys, this is hard. Could we fit the couch over here now? No, we can't. It's too tight. All right, sell the couch. Oh, this is so annoying. Let's grab a bigger table. I'll do this one from laundry day, I think. I think that fits the vibe a little bit. It's not quite the right color, but I think we can make it work. It's not helping you guys. This is not working. Do I need to just ditch the circular table? Is that the problem? Okay, here we go. That actually might would work a little bit. We've got a dining table now. And maybe we can just put some chairs there or something in a bookcase. I don't know. I'm lost. I've officially been defeated by this build. We'll put a chair. We only have room for one. I think that's good. So this is all going to be one unit over here. This is all the same unit. What's going to happen though when you're renting to a family and they get pregnant and they have kids or something like that and your unit isn't fit for toddlers and infants? Do you just have to go back and update it constantly or do they move out? I don't know guys. I'm excited to see how it all is going to work. All right. Progress is being made, you guys. It's good. We're doing good. <laughs> Um, hopefully we are. As you can see, we have this side is done. I'm thinking that we should do pink. What do you guys think? I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I kind of like it. I think we should go with pink. This is not ending up the way I thought it was going to. Can I just say that? This, the vision is not coming to light at this point. This is not going well. But I'm going to try to just keep copying and pasting. Some of my decorations are actually getting messed up. So I'm going to have to go back and redo that. And I'm just now realizing that I actually messed this up by going on and fixing it up for my family. I should have just waited. I had it the way it was supposed to be. Now I have to fix it again. Not my best moment there, you guys. <laughs> now we're back to being able to copy and paste, which is nice. So now hopefully it should go a little bit faster. I think we can fit one more unit over here. I think I'm going to change the color of the outside of this to like this light blue. That still has a kind of coastal look, doesn't it? We still got to work on the outside. Don't judge me by it right now. Also, can I just tell you guys, there is no guarantee that there's a light switch on all these doors. Not just because they're floating, also just because sometimes I miss them and I forget about them. But there, I think we're done. I think we're done with the bottom floor. Now I got to work on the exterior and then technically I want the same thing to be on the second floor. Should I just go on and do it? Oh, you guys in my head, this went so much easier than it's actually going. I got to figure out how to do the second floor. Hold on. It's making me cringe right now. You guys, this is not what I wanted it to look like. This is also not going to be very budget friendly. I can go in and tell you guys that. Okay. There's the first unit that's like up here. So then what I was thinking about doing is kind of creating a balcony so we'll create a little walkway right there this is definitely not turning into what i wanted it to look like the next time i try to build something like this hopefully it'll be better i'm placing these over here just to help this side of the building because ideally i would be able to bring this walkway all the way around it but i'm not going to be able to because i'm too close to the edge of the lot so i'm can't do that 
I feel like it's a mess. It's a mess right now. And the thing is, is technically I could delete this unit right here, but it's not going to look right then. It's going to look really small, I feel like. I don't think it's going to look good. You know what? Actually, we'll figure out something to put there. We got to get rid of some of this. This is too close to the edge of the lot. I'm going to delete this unit. I mean, we have plenty. And maybe we could do like a welcome office there or something like that. Something to help out a little bit with that area. But right now we gotta delete these units. They're driving me crazy. All of it is driving me crazy. Okay, there, finally, we're good. We are good. Where did that mirror come from? Why is that mirror outside? Oh, you guys, you know what that means. That means that some unit is missing that now. All right, now I just have to figure out how to roof this really quickly. <laughs> Maybe we could do something like that. It's very simple. Oh, we've got some nice little roof trim. This is nice. Maybe that would help. Should we do yellow or we could do... Yes, yes, yes. That helps a little bit. I like it. We could use some of these city living tiles. I mean, that looks a little bit better, right? It looks good. Yeah, that... Okay. <sighs> We're getting somewhere. Yes. So then I'm going to throw my columns down like I usually do. I'm going to use the one from Get Together. I mean, I think it's just the best column in the game, honestly, for stuff like this. We also need a little bit of lighting. Let's grab some lights for beside the door. This is very big and kind of chunky, but I like it. I think I'm going to go with it. I think I'm going to place it by each door like that. And then should we do the apartment mailboxes as well? Should we do these from City Living? I feel like we should go with that. I know we got these here and I'll place one down on the lot, but I really feel like this, I feel like these walls need help. I feel like they're pretty tragic. So I think I'm going to go around and place these by every single door. Okay, there. Look, guys, it's so much better. Mailboxes, city living slats. It looks so much better already. At least I think so. <laughs> I think that fixes up the front area of the condos. I think that I don't have to do anything else to those pathways, but I still have to add something over here, which could be like a community area, I guess. And then we could probably do a staircase right there. And then I still have to go all the way around the back. Here's where we're at, you guys. I have surrounded the house, not this side. Oh, I missed one side. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> guys, oh my gosh. This is this is a fail, I feel like. Hopefully it will look okay in the end. But I surrounded the whole um apartment condo, whatever you want to call it. I surrounded it with the slats and some more lights and stuff just to add a little bit to it and here is where we're at now this stuff i just have out in case we wanted to use it or something like that but this is where we're at i mean i think it actually is a kind of like an average apartment complex you know it could be worse it could be a lot worse so i'm not feeling so bad about the exterior but i'm starting to wonder if we need to change the paint color because the blue and the white is just kind of blending together and you can't tell what's what i had originally wanted to do pink i'm gonna try the pink it's just a lot though but we could do this lighter color pink it's almost like a cream it may have the same effect as the blue honestly though it may kind of just get lost i feel like i may have went overboard with the slats a little bit oh you know what we could do pink and then we could do blue for this front building Hopefully that didn't affect anything that was on the inside, but there we go. Okay, there we have like a creamy pink. I, you know what? It's not that much better than the blue, honestly. It's not, but I want to have a pool as well. And then I still got to work on this area. I feel like I know that technically there might be some vending machines or something around, but um, I don't think I'm going to worry about any of that. I think that looks pretty good as the entrance. I forgot about this area. This area doesn't look good, but we could just put some more of these. No, it's not letting me. What are we going to put up there? We could do another sign. We could grab this sign again. I don't like it. Oh, should we put a for rent sign on there? Do we have to include this so that people will know they can rent from us? We'll put that there. That's a cute little, it almost looks like a for sale sign as well. So that's very cute. We'll put that there and then we'll put a little basket of fruit right there by the door. And I'm distracting myself from fixing this problem right here, which I still have to do. We could, boom, put that there. I think that's done now. Maybe one window right here. And I'm thinking cats and dogs, if I can find it real quick. 
I'm at the point of the build where I'm ready to get it done with. But there, there we go. And I know this side still doesn't have anything. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to think about it. I don't want to think about it. So I think now I need to sort out what's going to go inside this office. And then I need to start working on the pool so that I can get finished up because I'm getting tired. I am gonna slap this together pretty fast, you guys. I don't know that this is gonna look good. I'm gonna just kinda go for it. I mean, honestly, I probably should've played the game a little bit before I just jumped right into building because I don't even really know what's required for, you know what, I, I should look at that. I should look at what is required for a residential rental. Oh, there is no requirements. Okay, we're doing good. Oh, we could put mailboxes in here as well. Let me find the mailboxes. Oh my gosh, I just realized that not a single one of these units has a trash can. Not a single one, you guys. We'll put the apartment mailbox in here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab a desk, just a really simple desk, and I'll kind of put the desk halfway in the little counters like that. I think it'll still be functional that way, and then I'm gonna put a computer on the desk. I'm just gonna do a couple little chairs here like if you were waiting to chat with someone about the apartment you wanted and now we've got to tackle the pool what is this is this a mailbox as well but now i want to add a pool and i th i think we should do like a funky shape because i feel like a lot of times beach condos kind of have a funky shape is that too too funky too far maybe maybe a little bit too far okay maybe we go with a vanilla pool you know what <laughs> i'm tired Let's just do this. Is that big enough for everyone? I think we should do a different kind of concrete than this one because that could be a little bit overpowering, I feel like. So let's swap to just a regular tile. All right, you guys, I am uh, I'm done with this build. It did not go as planned. I was originally going to use this for my legacy family, but I'm not because there's multiple reasons. But I'll go on and show you guys. I finished the pool. I got a little distracted, stopped recording. And I went on and finished the pool. As you guys can tell, there's not a whole lot of love in this area. It just is what it is. But it does kind of look like a community lot, I guess, in that way. We have, like, some a grill and, like, this street eats thing. I don't really even know what that is. I felt like it might be kind of like a grill. But that is it. I also realized that I had forgotten to change this wall. But why won't it let me change it? It's still orange, but it won't let me change it. My game's glitching a little bit. I don't know what's going on with that. That's another thing about this build. I think I went a little too hard. And also, you apparently can't have more than six rental units. And uh, we have more than that in this build. So if you wanted to see it on the gallery, let me know. More than likely, I'm just going to let this build kind of fall to the wayside and pretend like it never happened because... It did not um, come anywhere near where I wanted it to come. But I've been building for so long. It's getting dark outside. I'm tired. I'm going to give up. And then I placed it in another world because I was going to play test it. And this is my save file. But I placed it in another world. And there was just a bunch of random stuff from the units over here. Like, I don't know where it came from. Everything looked like it was still in place. But there was just a bunch of random stuff I had to delete. So I don't really know about uploading it to the gallery. I don't think it's going to do well i don't know if my game's just glitching from the new pack or what but that is it for today you guys i am spent i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think down below in the comments if you guys got the new expansion pack i would love to know how you're feeling about it are you enjoying it is your game glitching out like crazy let me know i will see you guys soon with another video though but that's all for today so bye guys